Hi and welcome back to this Azure Beginner's Guide. Now in this chapter, we are going to look at Azure Traffic Manager. Now this is a service that can be used to route traffic to different endpoints. Traffic is routed based on different routing methods that are available. Let's look at an example of one of the routing methods just to understand this clearly. Let's say you have a web application that's hosted in the East US region. Now this web application could be on a virtual machine. It could be on an Azure web app. It's any application that has a public endpoint. Now let's say this application is critical to the business. What happens if by chance the infrastructure in the East US region were to go down? How can you make your application available? Well, you could have a backup available in another region. So let's say the West US region and you can have this Azure traffic manager service available which could be used to route traffic to another app in another region in case the primary app were to go down for any reason. So this is an example of how the traffic manager can work. Now there are different routing methods available. So we have the priority. This is the first use case we discussed. So this method can be used to route traffic to another endpoint in case the primary endpoint fails. Next we have the weighted. This is almost like load balancing where you can actually route traffic to different endpoints based on a weightage criteria. Another is the performance routing method. So if you want users to be directed to an endpoint which is closest to them in terms of network latency, then you can choose the performance routing method. Else, if you want to base it on a geographic location, then you can use the geographic routing method. So just to explain, let's say you choose the Azure traffic manager with the weighted routing method and you have two web applications in different regions. You can say divert 50% of the traffic to one web app and 50% of the traffic to another web app. It's almost like load balancing your traffic across different web applications. Now this is useful in case you are deploying a new application. So what you can do is that you can direct 20% of your traffic to the new application and 80% to the old application. This is known as blue green deployments. And if your new application is working as desired, you can start increasing the percentage to 100% and ensure that all traffic is directed to the new application. In performance, if a user is located in a place as closest to the East US region, then they would be directed to the web app in East US and similarly for the West US. This is the performance. And finally, in geographic, if the user is located in the East US region, they will be directed to that web application and similarly for West US. So this is how the Azure traffic manager works. Let's go ahead to the Azure portal and see how to do a demo. Now, for the purpose of our demo, we are going to create two web apps using the Azure app service in different regions. And then we will use the Azure traffic manager to use the priority routing method to direct traffic to these endpoints. So first what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create an Azure web app. I'll give a name. So I'm going to give a name of 
primary web app. I'm going to use an existing resource group. I'm just going to create a new service plan. I'm going to leave it as the standard tier. I'm going to leave the location as Central US. And I'm going to create the web application. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and create another web app. So this is going to be a secondary web app. So what we're trying to do is that we are trying to use the Azure traffic manager to route requests to a secondary web app in case the primary one fails. So I'm going to put secondary app. I have to choose a different service plan. You have to ensure that when you are using the Azure traffic manager to direct traffic based on the priority method that the web app and the service plan are in different regions because the entire idea of the priority routing method is to direct traffic if an endpoint goes down in a particular region. So we have to choose a different region. So let me first give a name for the secondary app. So you have to ensure that you choose uh, the app in the, so you have to ensure that you choose the app in the secondary location. So I'm going to click on okay. And I'm going to go ahead and create the secondary app as well. And then we'll come back once these apps have been successfully created. Now, once both our apps are created, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to publish a simple Visual Studio solution. So I'm going to have two applications. They are just simple uh, default.html pages. So one will say this is a primary application and the other will say this is a secondary application. And I will publish this respectively to the respective web apps. So here you can see my primary and secondary web app. So I'll go to my primary web app. I will click on OK and let me publish this solution. And then I have another solution, another web app. I will publish it to the secondary web app. And let's come back once both the solutions have been published. Now I've gone ahead and published both of the apps. So let me open the primary web app. Let me go to the URL just to confirm that's working. Right, so we have this is the primary application. Let me go to my secondary app. Let me copy it. Again, let me open it. Right, so I got two Azure web apps in different regions. One has, this is the primary application. Another one has, this is the secondary application. Now this is done. Let's go ahead and add traffic manager. So let's choose on traffic manager profile. Let's click on create. So let's give a name for a traffic manager profile. So these are the different routing methods which are available. So I said the performance, the weighted, the priority and geographic. So for the purpose of this demo, I said we are going to uh, kind of replicate a primary secondary uh, site type of situation. So I'm going to choose priority. I'm going to use an existing resource group. I'm going to go ahead and create the traffic manager profile. Now, once the profile has been created, the next step is to add our endpoints. So we have to add our primary and secondary application, which is over here. So let's go ahead and click and add an endpoint. Now over here you can define an endpoint which is in Azure. You can have an external endpoint which is not in Azure and a nested endpoint. So for now, since both of our endpoints are hosted in Azure, let's choose Azure as an endpoint. Let's give a name. So let's give it as primary endpoint. Now in the target resource type, we have cloud service, app service, app service slot, and a public IP address. So if you had a web application that was hosted on a virtual machine, you could choose public IP address. Since ours is an app service, we will choose app service as the type. And in target resource, 
I'm going to first choose our primary web app. I'm going to put the priority has one. So this is our primary application. If anybody hits our traffic manager, they will be directed to our primary web app first. I'm going to click on OK. So this is being done. It's saving the profile. So now we have the endpoint. It's checking the status of the endpoint. So this could take a couple of minutes. While this is being done, let me go ahead and add the secondary endpoint. So let me give it a name of secondary endpoint. I'll choose again app service and this time I will choose the secondary app and I will put the priority has two. So this is the backup in case the priority one endpoint fails, then it will fall back to the priority two endpoint. So let me click on OK. Right, so now the traffic manager is checking both of the endpoints. So let's come back once the status is complete. Now once both of the endpoints show a status of online, let's go over to overview. Let's take the DNS name of the traffic manager endpoint. So let me copy it. Let me go to the endpoint. So now you can see that the traffic manager is directing the user to the first web app, which is a primary application. Since the endpoint status monitoring is online, it's showing online and correct, the user will be directed to the primary application. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to initiate a type of failover. So let's go back to all our resources. Let's go to our primary web app. And I'm going to stop this app service. So it's like I am saying that the app service has gone down. I'm just trying to simulate the service going down. And now what I would actually expect if I go back to. Now you can see when you go to traffic manager, it's directed that the status of the primary endpoint is stopped. Now, after some time, when you actually refresh the page, you will now see that the traffic manager is now routing requests to a secondary web app. So you've seen how one of the routing methods can be used to create an active passive site. So in case if one of the sites goes down, you can use traffic manager to route requests to a secondary site. So this is how the traffic manager works. This marks the end of this chapter. Let's move on to the next chapter in this course.